In this video, we're going to use the advanced team settings that we created in the previous video. We're going to get the setting in the .team file. We're going to add it as variable and render it in our page tweak template. So as previously, we have custom team and under appearance, and settings we have our custom doggy name so let's go ahead and render this doggy name on our page tweak template the first thing we want to do is we want to declare the custom team file so we create a new file and we call it the name of our team Drupal up dot team and here we'll be writing PHP. Let's go ahead and say PHP here. And uh, what we want to do is we want to implement the function Drupal up pre pro preprocess page and let's go ahead and add the the variables variable as parameter and to say implements hook process page that's perfect and what we want to do is we want to create a new variable called doggy name let's say dog name and we want to use the same team get setting and we want to use doc name it's basically the same machine name as the machine name here that we used in the team settings php so make sure you use the same uh, machine name so the next thing we want to do is we want to override the page tweak template since we're using the bartik uh, team as base team uh, let's create here a new folder templates and let's go to core teams Bartik templates and copy the page HTML tweak from there and paste it in the template folder of our team and basically here in the footer let's go ahead and create a if statement and say we're using of course the tweak syntax and we say if so we just created a variable called doc name so let's say if doc name is defined uh, simply render the doc name and say our doggy is called doc name uh, we could say else that's the case where the doc name is not defined so we can say scooby do where are where are you and we can just simply close the if statement by and if 
that's perfect so if we jump back to our Drupal instance and clear the cache and if we go back to our front page we see that our doggy is called Scooby-Doo that's perfect and this is the same name that we used here under appearance settings so if we say our doggy name is droopy and we go back to the site we see that our doggy is called droopy that's perfect if you like this video, please check the links in the description, like the video, subscribe and don't hesitate to ask any questions if you have. Thanks for watching.